Oh yeah, God Consciousness Chapter 20, Fear Part 3. You can be, uh, very afraid of thunder and lightning. You can, uh, be afraid of losing your job. You can be scared of your spouse's disapproval. You can be fearful about slipping and falling and hurting yourself. There is legitimate fear. There is fear that you cannot help but have. There is fear that transcends common sense. People sometimes might say to you, you don't have to be afraid of such and such or so and so. He, he, she wouldn't hurt a fly. Fear is the great immobilizer. If you could make a fear gun, you could make a fortune selling it to the military. If you can make people fear you, you can have power over them. Power and fear often are intimately related. But did you know there can come a time when even fear will not stop you from doing something? Did you know it is possible for you to go forward even though you know you're going to die? Sometimes there is a fear that is even greater than the fear you are facing. You can fear fear. You can fear fear. You can fear fear. There can be that moment when you are scared of being afraid, when you have it had it with being scared. You've had it with being scared. You've had enough of being afraid of something or someone, and at last you get unstuck and you react. You act out of fear. that you are going to die anyway. So what does it matter if you are afraid? You might as well die trying, and death isn't exactly something to be afraid of. Perhaps you are scared of the pain that might accompany your death? Maybe you are hesitating because you're afraid. You might end up in a wheelchair or end up drooling, a drooling, a drooling, spastic. Worse than dead, worse than dead, worse than dead. Worse than dead. So what is your... Worse than dead, worse than dead. Greatest fear. Greatest fear. Do you even know if you have one? Have one. What is it? Being tortured, tortured, tortured. Being abandoned, abandoned. Being left for dead, dead, dead. Being betrayed. How about discovering that there is no God, which there is not, and that all your belief systems are wrong and all your beliefs. How does it about? about discovering that it doesn't matter what you do, there is no meaning to your life. How about discovering that Jesus Christ really is the Son of God? And all that fundamentalist Christian mumbo-jumbo is true, and the world really is only six or seven thousand years old. How about that? What is your greatest fear? Ending up broke? Nobody loves you? Nobody even likes you? Having to do more dirty dishes, dirty dishes, dirty dishes, being bored, bored, being alone and lonely, being alone and lonely, nobody really cares about you, being alone and lonely, nobody really cares about you. What can fear do for you is to help you highlight what needs to be done now. Fear can isolate the parts of you that need to be, you, you need, you fear can isolate the parts of you that you, you need to pay attention to. You need to pay attention to. Fear can change the way you are and what you will do next. Too much fear can kill you. It can turn you into a very sick person. Fear can make you sick. And being sick can make you feel very scared too. So you know there are things that make fear larger that increase fear. That one fear can lead to the next fear. There is a kind of a fear that feeds on itself, a self-perpetuating sort of fear. Fear can be triggered, too. It can come into you from an event or situation, a stimulation. It can stimulate.
stimulation or an event stimulation or stimul that is not really real. That is not really real. And a, a horn can honk and set you off. You can overreact and cause further problems. A certain gesture can make you afraid. A certain gesture can make you afraid. That is why I want you to use fear to understand why you're afraid. To begin to point your awareness in the direction that is what you really want and need. I want you to ask me for help too. Look to fear as a golden opportunity to express what you do want and to move away from your what you do not want and to learn what it is I want for you. Perhaps this will be one of your fears, the, the fear of me, of my influence of and over your life. Perhaps it will be the fear of me telling you what to do or the fear that what I want for you is not what you really want for yourself. Well, before we get into that, here's a real poser for you to consider. What about my fears? Do I have a fear? Do I even know what fear is? Do I even know what fear is? Do I even know what fear is? Can, what can God possibly fear? The devil? Do I fear demons? This is what I fear. And I have no answer to this. Let me put it this way. I have yet to fear. And let's put this yet another way. I am fear. Let's put this yet another way. I understand fear. I can emphasize with my creation with the parts of my creation that experience emotion. I can feel the feelings of every part of my creation. My creation. I, my creation. I can feel the feelings of the physical manifested parts of my creation, and I can feel the feelings of the physical unmanifested parts of my creation. I can feel the feelings of every bit of every little bit right down to the tiniest bit of bits 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 I can certainly feel the feelings of all creatures that have been that are that will be and that will be and that will be and that will be contemplate that for a moment or two will you I know your fears and tears I know your ecstasy. I know your innermost and secret longings. All of it, I know. All of it, I know. All of it, I know. Every angry thought that has been thought, it's being thought, will be thought. And mentioning anger brings me to my conclusion of this chapter on fear. Fear and anger are closely related. Often one triggers the other. Let both be a way to come to closer. Look, let both be a way to come to. Let both be a way closer to understanding what it is you are really wanting. And, and what this way, this way. Let both be a way into what and both be, into what it is I am wanting for you. When you experience the fear-anger combination reaction, it is a good time to tune in to me and get my guidance working in your consciousness so that you can avoid the suffering that is yet to come. The more you practice coming to me, the more you practice coming. When you become aware that you are being aroused by the fear, the more you practice. When you become, the more you practice, when you become that you are being aroused by the fear-anger combination reaction, the sooner you can switch to getting guidance out of the trap of the fear-anger wham, a dang, dang dong, the sooner you can switch to getting guidance out of the trap of the fear-anger wang a dang, dang dong, wang a dang, dang dong. So what comes out of all this? 
our next chapter, which is the chapter on trust. The trap of the fear, anger, wang a dang ding dong, wang a dang ding dong, wang a dang. So what comes out of all this is our next chapter, which is on the subject of trust. Trust. So what comes out of all this is our next chapter, which is the yeah, which is on the subject of yeah, you know. So what comes out of all this is our next chapter, which is on the subject of trust.